Hi friends, we're back today and we're gonna read one of my very, very favorite stories. And it's not, it's a story about a family, but it's not a human family, it's a dog family. But I still love it. It's one of my very favorites. It's called Gaston. Have you ever read this book about this little dog named Gaston? It's a great one, I can't wait to share. Okay, here we go, Gaston. Oh, look. There they are. So there's a dog in a box and there's a dog in a stroller. Oh my goodness. Mrs. Poodle admired her new puppies, Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston. Fifi, Fufu, La La, and Gaston. Would you like to see them again? There's Fifi, Fufu, Lala, and Gaston. Does Gaston look a little bit different from his sisters? Look over here, look at this one. Look how cute and little they are. And then there's Gaston. It says Mrs. Poodle thought so too. Oh, perfectly, it says perfectly precious, aren't they? Yes, Mrs. Poodle thought so too. The puppies grew as puppies do, and their three were no bigger than teacups. The fourth, however, continued to grow and grow until he was the size of a teapot. There he is, his little teacup sisters, and there's Gaston. Mrs. Poodle took pride in teaching her puppies how to be proper pooches. They were taught to sip, never slobber. Good, well done, very nice. Good try. He's slobbering a little bit, isn't he? They were taught to yip and never yap. Yip, 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 roof. And they were taught to walk with grace. Never race. Tip toe, tippy toe. Whoa. The puppies were also taught how to look pretty in pink, nibble their kibble, and ride in style. Whatever the lesson, Gaston always worked the hardest, practiced the longest, and smiled the biggest. <laughs> There's Gaston. Mrs. Poodle was very pleased with all of her puppies. Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston. Spring arrived and the proud mother was eager to show off her darlings. She took them to the park for their very first stroll in public and there was much to see. Daffodils, ducklings, other dogs. Oh dear, who do we have here? Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Hmm. Would you like to see them again? So there they are. There's Gaston with his family and his sisters. And here's some dogs that they met in the park. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. This was more than a little awkward. The mothers sized up the pups. The pups sized up one another. It seems there's been a terrible mistake, Mrs. Bulldog said, breaking the silence. We, oui, we, oui, Mrs. Poodle agreed sadly. Whatever shall we do? Mrs. Bulldog could not come up with an answer. I guess we'll let them decide, she replied at last. There's Gaston and his sisters. And there are Bruno, Rocky, Ricky, and Antoinette. Hmm, and there are the moms. Let's see what happens. Gaston and Antoinette were young, but even they could see that there had been a mix-up. 
the two puppies began to circle around and around the group. Gaston walked with grace. Antoinette raced. Gaston yipped. Antoinette yapped. And when they finally came to a stop, the puppies had traded places. There, that looked right. It just didn't feel right. Hmm. That evening, Antoinette tried to fit in with her new sisters, but she did not like anything that was proper or precious or pink. There's Antoinette. She says, phooey. She's tearing up that pink pillow. On the other side of town, Gaston tried to fit in with his new brothers but he did not like anything brutish or brawny or brown. See him sitting there while his brothers are wrestling and dumping out the trash, making a mess. That one's rolling in some dirty laundry. You, Antoinette and Gaston weren't the only ones who were having a hard time adjusting. Who else is having a hard time? The mommies. Yeah. The next morning, Mrs. Poodle forgot all about being proper and raced back to the park. Mrs. Bulldog was already there waiting with her burly brood. It seems we've made a terrible mistake, she nearly shouted. Oh, wee oui, wee, oui, Mrs. Poodle agreed happily. This time, Gaston and Antoinette Wasted no time trading places. There, that looked right, and it felt right too. From that day forward, the families met in the park every afternoon to play. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette taught the poodle puppies a thing or two about being tough. And likewise, Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston taught the bulldog puppies a thing or two about being tender. Now they're all friends. And many years later, when Gaston and Antoinette fell in love and had puppies of their own, they taught them to be whatever they wanted to be. The end. Did you like that story? It is one of my very favorite stories to read out loud and share with my class. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for coming today, y'all. Bye.